everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Becca with House of Lenormand, and today is Thursday, December 12th, 2019. And I thought I'd hop on here and do a couple of quick readings um, for you guys. This box spread here was for uh, Ivanka Trump for the month of January 2020. So let's go ahead and go through that together. We have the mountain, the man, and the birds. Down this road here, we have the mice. Um, her and then the clouds and then we're seeing the uh, lilies the bear and the anchor um, it's looking like there is some sort of an obstacle a delay um, perhaps something that has to do with the head um, that's um, deteriorating it's expiring it's eating away at it um, and this may be something that's age related here uh, something to do with the senior because of the lilies um, we can see her and her husband and then quite possibly her father here. Um, so she has a lot of worry and anxiety right over her. Um, and this could be in regards to his deteriorating health. Um, there's an ongoing conversation here that's quite clouded over and um, troublesome. This could be in regards to a phone call, a meeting. Um, this could also be your thoughts. So it could be... Quite literally, she's growing more and more concerned um, with her father's uh, deteriorating health um, mentally. Um, down this row here, we're seeing something that is age-related here. Or perhaps um, this is not in regards to his health. This could also be in regards to um, a phone call or a meeting that had taken place a while back because of the, the lilies. Um, this could have been some a phone call or a meeting that had taken place um, a while ago. And we can see that she's facing a permanent obstacle. Um, it could be that her father is providing an obstacle or a block from someone getting to her to speak to her um, because this is her speaking um, or her attending a meeting or her having a phone call. Um, there looks to be the quite the possibility of two men here because we have the man followed by the birds so this could be a pair of men um, so I'm not sure if this is in regards to her husband and her father which are right next to her or you know maybe her brother and her husband um, there's a possibility of two men here and in regards to Kushner, it looks like he may be attending some meetings or um, maybe having to speak or being part of a phone call or something here. But there's a lot of confusion and it's going to take quite a bit of time to resolve because this is like permanent problems around this meeting or this phone call that took place. Um, but she's quite worried about it. Um, on the corners here, we're seeing um, an obstacle or a delay. Um, that's going to take a long time to get around and it has to do with the phone call or a meeting or perhaps her coming in to speak or perhaps the hearing. Um, this could also be in regards to her worries and nervousness here um, that are ongoing in regards to uh, perhaps the hearings that are taking place for her father um, for his impeachment. Um, let me see here. Um, her father has obstructed with the... Um, mountain knighting over to the bear it's a powerful obstacle a powerful obstruction um, and creating a lot a lot of problems and a lot of confusion he's not quite clear what he's doing she is absolutely not clear with what she's doing um, she's muddled as well um, the mice knights over here to the birds um, so there's a there's something going on with the deterioration of thought um, Again, that's age-related up here. Uh, deteriorating thoughts, deteriorating speech. Uh, speech that's muddled and it keeps getting worse. It keeps sinking deeper and deeper. So if this is how you speak, um, it's muddled. It's really clouded over. It's very hard to see. Um, and then it's ongoing. It just keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper. It's permanent. Um, let me see here. But this is also a lot of worry and anxiety with the my sniding over here to the birds um and then it nights over here to the anchor so it's ongoing um age related confusion with the lilies nighting down here to the clouds um 
if this is in regards to peace and wisdom and tranquility, no, it does not happen um, because it it's nighting down here to the ink uh, to the clouds. Um, it's like her father's age-related illness just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Um, let me see here. Um, Jared Kushner is knighting up here to the lilies, so that could be him helping her with her father, with whatever um, is going on with him, with his deteriorating health and his deterioration of thought and muddled speak speaking here. Um, and it looks like he's, you know, he sticks, he sticks it out with her. Um, her father speaks or he's in a meeting or he's making in the middle of some negotiations. But if this is in regards to not only to his mental health and deteriorating thought and, and effed up speech here, it could also be that he is speaking or he is holding meetings or negotiations, but, um, they're troublesome, um, they're they're not clear it's quite confused um it could be her father speaking to gaslight and like i said earlier it could also be in regards to his literal speech being very muddled and and clouded over and very hard to understand what he's saying um let me see because this is looking like it's the worry is because of his ongoing age-related illness and the deterioration um let me see if i can do another reading and i'll be right back Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so this double line of five here was to see what Ivanka Trump is worried about. And um, we have the bear again, the letter, the mountain, the writer, and the house. And then down here we see the ship, the um, fish, the whip, the anchor, and the lilies. So it looks like right off the top on the main line, central to the reading as well, um, it looks like she's worried about the articles of impeachment that the House is delivering. Um, here, right central to the reading, we have an, um, repeated obstacles, uh, a pattern of obstruction. And with the whip knighting over here to the bear, that's abuse of power. So it looks like she's quite concerned about the articles of impeachment that um, the House is delivering. Um, in regards to her father. It looks like she's also worried about something going on overseas with foreign money laundering that they've been doing for a very long time. Um, she's quite concerned about a foreign power. She is concerned about some sort of financial document, financial record, perhaps his taxes, his loans, um, whatever this is, but there's a financial record of overseas money laundering um, that the family has a history of being involved with. Um, it looks like she's also quite worried about, I think we discussed this already, about a pattern of obstruction and abusive pa power. Um, it looks like she's also quite worried about something that's being delivered that's going to like seal it. Um, that's going to be quite strong, quite uh, indisputable. Um, and it also looks like um, something here to do with family history here, the family history of overseas um, money laundering here uh, money laundering perhaps that's been going on for a long time through properties with the whip knighting over here to the house um it could be for money laundering through foreign properties money that's coming in and being washed and cleaned made clean made pure um, through properties, family properties this could also be in regards to a lot of arguing and fighting in the home um, but this here is talking about a peaceful family, but there, don't be fooled, you guys. There's a lot of arguing around that home and it's ongoing. Um, it's like a pattern of arguments as well as, um, this is going to take a long time to find peace. Um, even though here it's showing peace, um, here on the corners, we're seeing age related illnesses or age related issues with her father, foreign property here, uh, whatever it is that's far away, that's foreign, they they believe that so far they've been able to delay it, uh, provide obstacles that just keep repeating over and over and over again. It's like a pattern of obstruction in regards to uh, documents, financial documents, um, business documents. This could also be paper money of stuff that's being uh, washed or coming in and then washed and laundered through properties from overseas. So it looks like she's mainly concerned about the family history of this foreign money laundering foreign money abuse foreign money cleaning 
long time make clean and purify okay um and then she's really really worried about these financial documents and that money being delivered um and those documents being secured um it looks like whatever this obstacle is with the mountain it's followed here by the um rider so the mountain takes a long time you're not going to traverse this thing in a day Okay, so for timing, this is about three months or on the 21st of the month or the winter. This is the winter as well. Okay, but it's got a very fast acting card right next to it. The writer um, comes out. Uh, the writer is very quick moving. Um, this is an action card. Um, this is more of a portrait and a mood card. That's more of a portrait card. Um, this is also an action card that's quite fast as well. So whatever obstacles... Um, have been put in place and have been like appealing. This is legal arguments here or um, like if there's a document that comes out, it gets repeated over and over and over and over again, revise, re-edit, re-argue. Um, so whatever pattern her father has been engaged in in constant delays and obstruction to try to halt this thing from coming out, um, this is the winter here, and this is around the 21st. This is around January. So I'm wondering if the um, order is given sometime this month in December, because this is December and this is the winter as well. Um, and then they're actually delivered, delivered around January. Um, I'm not quite sure, but whatever it is, um, it clears up and then it gets brought out. Um, it may take a while here because we have the anchor and the lilies. Um, this is something that takes a long time. It may take a while to, because there's probably going to be, a, this could be quite literal, a mountain of paperwork. Paperwork that's like piled up, like piles and piles and piles of paper. So it might take them a little bit of time to go through it and, look into everything and pinpoint where the money is coming from, uh, from a foreign power here, or her father doing something overseas, or this could quite literally be, um, like we've discussed earlier, um, you know, a country that is represented by the bear, um, or like oligarchs. It's a very strong, um, very powerful financier. So it might take them because of this and piles of paper that get delivered. Um, it might take them a while to go through everything and identify the pathways on how the money was coming in, being cycled, washed, repeated um, for a long time in the family history of it and how it's been laundered through properties. So... Like I said, the obstacles that they've been putting forward to, you know, like this here is saying that this is a permanent obstacle, but right next to it, we're seeing something that happens quickly and something that happens quickly there. So, um, this, the news may come out around December. I'm not sure if this is saying that the piles of paper get delivered around January and then April, right around the time for tax season, because this is financial documents, business documents, bank records, cash money here, um, and that gets delivered, okay? But it's going to take them a while to kind of go through everything. Um, there's foreign property as well, um, her father's history or her father's age-related stuff that's going on. Um, the documents have been secured. The money's being delivered. Um, repeated obstacles here, but then it clears up back here. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it clears up. Um, so let me see. I don't think I need to ask about how they're laundering money because I think we're all you know, we're pretty clear on that. It looks like they're doing it mostly through properties. I don't see the mice here, so I can't see stuff that they've stolen. Um, so, you know, I, I can't talk about that, but this was just to ask what she's worried about. And it looks like she's worried about her father's age-related stuff and all this financial crap coming out and them getting busted for it. Uh, let me see... If I can do Kushner and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So this one here was to see what's coming in for uh, Kushner in January 2020. 
we have the ring, the key, and the birds. Down this column, we're seeing the anchor, the man, and the dog. And then down this way, we're seeing the house, the crossroads, and the writer. Um, so it looks like there's some sort of an agreement um, that has been reached, some sort of promise that has been reached in regards to home or property. Um, this could also be his family. Um, he may have been involved in some ongoing negotiations here, perhaps in regards to property and real estate this way. Um, but it looks like whatever he's been negotiating, um, there's someone there that's delivering something. Um, or he's expecting someone to come and bring him an offer. Um, I don't know if this is a realtor um, because the dog is knighting over there to the house and he's knighting over there to the ring. Um, so this could be a friend of the family's that's loyal to him. Um, this could be loyalty in the house. Um, this could also be perhaps an advisor to him that's bringing him some sort of an agreement for the family that he's delivering or um, perhaps he's expecting this person to come visit. Um, but it looks like he's been able to secure some sort of an agreement or some sort of a contract for a home or property. Um, it looks like um, there's something really important going on here in regards to perhaps elections or a choice that he has to make. Also, something quite important that may be going on with multiple properties and news coming in about multiple properties for him. And again, uh, conversations or meetings or negotiations with a friend that's coming to visit. Um, so I don't know who this is. This could be the guy that he's working with, um, his advisor. I forget his name. Um, I'm not quite sure. This is also looking like, because the birds is right here, this could be a pair of advisors. Um, and then this way, um, it could be that he may need to speak to the house, but I mean, I don't see anything here that says that he would be blocked. He may just ignore it and be a no-show and just decide to go his own way. Um, and there's a pair of advisors. So this may be brought up in the hearings about who else knew about the phone call that was made and was he involved with it. Um, the other advisors here. So I don't know if this would be Mulvaney and Pence and him um, that were involved in that phone call, that meeting, that negotiation that was being made to uh, secure some sort of verbal agreement here, verbal promise here. Um there's a partnership or an agreement that splits and separates uh, with the ring knighting over to the um, crossroads. Um, it looks like something that has been secured is being delivered this way. And there's ongoing negotiations, ongoing phone calls, ongoing meetings here. And then there's a family friend this way or an advisor to someone perhaps in the administration or in his home or in his family. Um, let me see here. An important property news coming in uh, or also perhaps important news coming in from the house. So it could be both. There could be multiple things going on here. Uh, important property news, important um, news coming in about the house, uh, something to do with him and advisors in a phone call. I'm not quite sure. Um, there's multiple phone calls here, um, multiple meetings, multiple conversations, uh, multiple hearings here. And then there's something being discussed about an agreement for a property that's being delivered and somebody's talking about it. Um, there's discussions, hearings, phone calls, conversations interviews perhaps um, about an agreement for property that's being delivered either through a phone call or a meeting of some sort. Um, and there's an important verbal agreement here. But what's weird is he's ending here in two action cards. This is an action card. That's an action card. Um, This could also be talking about the House voting moves forward in January or the House, what the House voted on 
is delivered in January here. Um, so this could be the hearings um, that take place in January because this is December. The birds is card number 12. This is December. Writer is card number one, January. Um, so that could be coming into play too is what the house is delivering. Um, the vote that they're delivering on two articles here even though we're not seeing the letter. And this is also a pair as well. Um, but there's loyalty here. I don't know who this is. I don't know if, because it's got the um, birds right before it. So this is usually a pair or it's a small group of people. Um, so this could be his conversations with Mulvaney, his conversations with perhaps Mike Pence. I don't know if he would even talk to Mike Pence. Um, this could be his conversations with Giuliani. It could be his conversations with somebody else that's in the administration that's we're, we're going to be getting news about it. Um, whatever this conversation was with these people is being delivered here. Um, but there's something really interesting going on with a contract or a promise uh, for property that's being delivered in a hearing. Um And what's weird is I'm not seeing the tree here, so I can't talk about siblings, but there's something here with family um, going on. So there may be, I mean, I'm not quite sure, um, but there may be something coming in about nepotism, uh, favoring family here that gets delivered this way um, and how he has been able to use his position um, to secure or make deals, promises for real, for real estate that may be being delivered in, in the hearings if push comes to shove. I'm not quite sure. But what I can get quite clearly from here is that there's something that he's securing around property, multiple properties, actually. Um, and even though I'm not seeing any um, money cards here, I'm not seeing the fish. I can't tell you if he's selling property or if he's getting the keys to property here. Um, because here it's saying, you know, keys to a property and keys being delivered. Um, and this is meetings and negotiations, and that's promises there. So there may be something coming up for him in regards to his real estate businesses and how he's been doing both and using his position um, for his real estate business here. Um, and there's something here with the phone call that he may have been privy to with the advisors that gets delivered in January. Um, he may be called to speak in January. Whether he will or not, I can't tell you. I doubt it. Um, so there's that. Um, let me see if I can read something else and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So I just asked if uh, Kushner was involved in the phone call to the Ukraine. Um, we have the child, which is neutral. We have the clouds, which is negative, and it ends here with the anchor, which is positive. Um, this is saying yes, and there's something going on here. Uh, this could be junior. Um, that's being clouded over that we don't know about just yet, but it looks like that will be secured. I'm thinking this guy was in the shadows. Um, this person is clouded over. This person was in the shadows. So it looked like perhaps Junior had something to do with it, but on the back end. Um, hmm. That's interesting because it's saying that it's it's in, ending in a yes. And there's a permanent problem for this kid. Um, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, um, let me see if I can figure something else out and I'll be right back. Okay, so this double line of five here was to see how Kushner's feeling about the impeachment. Um, we have the woman, the bouquet, the garden, the cross, and the house. And then down here we're seeing the moon, the bear, the book, the ship, and the um, tree. Um, for some reason, it's just telling me that um, how he's feeling is that his wife is perhaps a little bit burdened that how she's being viewed publicly or whatever parts of uh, whatever networks she's involved with, the Pretty Girls Club, um, High Society, how she's recognized in the public. Uh, it's burdening her. 
and it's putting a, a, a strain on the family as well. Um, so it looks like maybe, I don't know, maybe she's always yapping about it, about, you know, how they're ruining the great family name as if that name has ever been anything other than mud. Um, but it looks like here, um, it has to do with her reputation here this way and then how she, how she's being seen um with society here with the um the garden and her society that it's making the family look really really bad and there's some things here that he would like to keep out of the public eye with the book landing right underneath the um the garden um it's secrets that they want to keep from the public and it has to do with her father's career and also the family there's family secrets there that that they do not want getting out um i don't see any money cards here we don't have the fish um with the bear um this is mostly her father here but it could also be interpreted as finance okay um, so perhaps what they're also wanting to keep secret besides her father's reputation and, and secrets that the family has, it may have something to do with their financing, like their assets, what they have. Um, and what's also interesting here is that um, there's an illness in the family and an ambulance here as well. Um, because this would be a vehicle for health. See what I'm saying? Um, and this is a burdened family. Um, there can be an illness in the family here. Um, this could be an ambulance here. Um, uh, this could be the family legacy here as well. So he may be feeling the burden of the family illness here and perhaps having to find... Um, but then why would an ambulance be be showing up? Hmm. That's interesting. Um, we're seeing her legacy here and the family's reputation. We're seeing foreign gifts here, her father being put on trial there. Um, this is being shamed in society. Here, the family's shamed within society, perhaps also because the garden is such a, it's such a large group of people. It could also be um, the world stage as well. Um, certain things that they don't want going on the world stage and just being clowned everywhere they go because of this guy. Um, and, and I mean, it's not like she's not at fault too. She's a little, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. But um she has secrets or she's keeping her mouth shut about certain things or she doesn't talk about certain things. Um, and it might have to do with things that they don't want getting out in public or being brought up in public or for society to know about or perhaps the world to know about. Um, back here, this could also be in regards to uh, his wife having a career perhaps in cosmetics or um, being the CEO of something that has to do with cosmetics and clothing and jewelry. Well, not jewelry because we don't have the ring here, um, but how she's recognized. Um, but this would be also, this could be read as her being the CEO um, of perhaps beauty, clothing, um, that sort of stuff here, her being the boss of that. And then... Um, this could also be in regards to the charity gifts for an organization that the family was found guilty of and that charity got closed off here, shut down. Uh, well, not shut down, but whatever books they were keeping on the charity. Um, because this here, right here, these two together, even though we read it in, in a line like this, um, it's public shaming. Um, it's uh, public shaming being shamed on the world stage. Um, perhaps they're thinking about moving overseas far away here, um, with the, the ship, um, like they would be happy overseas and perhaps setting down roots, um, 
overseas this way because of all the public shaming here um, and all the secrets that they've kept from the public that are now public. Um, whatever secrets she's been keeping as a CEO, whatever secrets her father's been keeping in regards to bribery and everything else, all his trials, um, being put on trial on the world stage, um, difficulties overseas, problems overseas. Um, this could be her going to that, uh, what was it, the that summit that she went to with her dad, you know, to be there as the trophy, the pretty girl to... I don't know. I mean, it's like that's their strategy. Like, oh, just bring Ivanka. People are so stupid. They'll just fall for her for her beauty and, and you know, forget that she has any brains. Um, no, that's not how world leaders <laughs> um, handle business, you know. But that's how they handle business in their world because they're that shallow and just superficial. But um, so, you know, perhaps he's pained by... Her public shaming and the public shaming on the world stage at summits when they go overseas. Um, and, and perhaps they're really, even though I don't see the birds here, but there's um, like laying down roots, uh, laying down family roots here, um, perhaps overseas. Because it's so burdensome here. And even but even if they go overseas, there's a burden there. Because um, it's got the cross right over it. Um, there may be something here as well. With a large area that has a lot of um, trees. So perhaps like a state park or something like that that they may frequent um, like a large area with a lot, a lot, a lot of trees. Um, I don't know that they may go to, or there may be another one overseas as well. Um, but yeah, he's worried about um, that the impeachment is just going to more than more than likely damage her um because i don't see him in this spread anywhere it's mostly her and her father um and what they're trying to keep from the public and being publicly shamed and humiliated on on the world stage which you know you all are a bunch of criminals should, should have just stayed in new york where it was just a small group of people that didn't like you um let me see here yeah the family's reputation here um, their career in uh, real estate here, um, her legacy, her health as well. Um, I don't know what would be going on with her health. Perhaps it's something reproductive because she's got the moon right next to her and the uh, bouquet right there. It may be something perhaps that's reproductive that they may be having some difficulties with. I don't see the storks here, so I can't talk about a pregnancy um, it could just be hormonal uh, with the moon here and the and the um, bouquet. Um, she might be on, I don't know, um, some sort of hormonal medication, uh, maybe birth control or something. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I can get on for her health. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, let me see if there's anything else and I'll be right back. So this one here was, I was trying to do a box spread on Junior for January and I could only see two cards behind him. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here and try to do it again. But um, what we're seeing here is that there's some worrisome news coming in for him about being separated from the family or um, being cut off from the family this way. Uh, we can see that there's anxiety in the family, anxiety in the home. Um, and there's news of danger, news of a separation, news of a cut. Um, he's worried about family. Um, so let me see if I can put him back and do it again um, and see what comes up. Because this is saying that, you know, he's worried about being separated from family. Um, or perhaps the separation from the house. Uh, so this could also be in regards to the impeachment. 
So let me see if I can read on that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this double line of five here was to see why he's worried about being separated from his family. Um, we have on the first row the key, the mice, the um, clover, the uh, stars, and the ring. And then down here we're seeing the fish, the woman, the bear, the fox, and the storks. Um, so there could be something very significant that has that proves corruption um, that was some sort of a risk or a gamble that they took perhaps online and they had some sort of a partnership or agreement for it and the agreement had to do with money and the agreement was to upgrade or change or transfer money this way. Um, down here we're seeing a payment for a woman um, that uh, was close to his father um, that was fraudulent and there was a change made there. So this could also be in regards to the payment that was made to Stormy Daniels um, and perhaps an ongoing investigation that's right here um, that he's being investigated for, for corruption. Um, and his father did something that's quite fraudulent as well um, that uh, provided them a win here that sealed or, or got them a contract of some sort. Um, like I said earlier, there's important money here and a change in uh, an agreement or a marriage here. Um, so this could be talking about uh, even though the fish does not knight to the stars, it's quite far. I can't exactly say cryptocurrency, but there's money that's being exchanged and transferred. Also with the fish here, not only is this money, but it's stocks and trade. So there's something, he may have taken a risk or a gamble, perhaps in something with the stock markets, because if this is the stock markets, it's changing. It goes up, it goes down. It goes up, it goes down. There's a loss, and then there's a big win. There's an important loss, and then there's a huge, huge win here. This is like hitting the jackpot. This is like getting a scratch-off ticket and you get a $20 ticket and you end up winning $35 million. That's what this here is. This is a huge financial gain right here. Um, there's a business opportunity, money opportunity, opportunity in the stock markets while it's changing. And that change is being manipulated here. Okay, there's a manipulative change. So he may have done something with the stock market, perhaps insider trading, he had knowledge of what his father was going to do, um, and they had made an agreement for him to do uh, to work on the backside of it. Um, perhaps that's how they made big big loads of money here. Um, also, besides that, we're seeing um, another possibility here as well. Could be that he's worried about the this woman here um, who may be stealing. Um, this way and this woman may be looking to change and transform something but there's marriage for money here um, a promise for money marriage for money a woman that marries for money here so this could be in regards to his girlfriend um, she nights over to the stars that's a woman that's in the media right below it we have the fox so this could be the girlfriend that he has right now that used to be with fox news here um, and then she transferred out because she's marrying for money. Good job, lady. Um, there's something really important going on here with his father that uh, there was a promise or an agreement that was made with his father. Um, this could be some also some sort of financial agreement that he's under um, and then being investigated for corruption here because there was a quick Super, super quick gain when something was changing and being transformed manipulatively. Um, let me see. Money opportunity for a raise or to better their financial situation. Uh, this is the woman that's in the media, Fox News here. Um, but yeah, that's how he's there. It looks like there's a lot going on here. Um, he may have been playing in the stock market because he had insider information from this guy, um, his, her father, who told him what to do and when to do it and when to trade, when to change the money, um, when to buy, and then they were going to take it away. And then when it changed here, when they manipulated the change here, it was a huge quick win and they were able to secure, um, the jackpot there. 
So that may be something that's being investigated right now that we may not know about. Um, I mean, I don't even know how because William Barr is there. Um, because this is also someone that's a powerful protector. Um, but there's something that was manipulative that was done here for, um, for a quick, easy, fast gain. And it's not like a little bit. It's like loads of money here. Uh, loads of money and they were able to secure that they were able to secure that through some sort of an agreement or an opportunity that they had with this guy um, also there looks like there's some sort of a contract or an agreement perhaps to do with um, something to do here with technology and opportunity for technology um, I know that his uh, sister had a thing with uh, the voting machines um, but that could also be something that's fraudulent. It looks like he's also worried about his relationship to this girl because perhaps he recognizes that she's just in it. She's marrying for money. Um, and that there's going to be an important change in his life there when he, if he marries her. Um, I do not know if they're engaged or not. Um, but the ring is far from her. She doesn't knight. It's far from her. So perhaps she's looking... I mean, this could be just as simple as her wanting to upgrade the engagement ring to something more expensive. Um, or something blingier. Very, very blingy. Something that shines and sparkles. But it's loads of money here. And it's loads of money here with the corners. Um, and she's worried as well. Um, she might be worried about an investigation too. And then there's money that's stolen or money that's missing. Um, an opportunity for finance or an opportunity for huge amounts of money or an opportunity for her father once he changed something. When there, once there was a change or a transformation made. Um, uh, the important woman that opportunity at Fox and that's how they got into a relationship. It looks like he's worried just about loads of stuff, but it looks like he might have played his hand in the stock market uh, with insider trading. He had knowledge of, he, he knew when the changes were coming. He knew when it would go down. He knew when it would go up. He knew when there was a loss and then when there was going to be a big win, especially right here in the middle. So that might be something else that um, he's crapping his pants about. Um as well as the payments to the woman that his father had an affair with that was fraudulent. He's worried about the relationship with the girlfriend at Fox News. She may want she may want to upgrade her engagement ring um, to something more expensive. Um, yeah, so let me see if I can put this back and see if I can get a decent rating for January on him. Everyone, so I keep trying to do a box spread on him and it just will not let me. So I just pulled the three that he had before him and the three that he had behind to make this uh, one line of seven. Um, we're seeing here the stars, the book, the dog, him, the coffin, the mice, and the clouds. So it's looking like um, if this is in regards to his actual literal book that he wrote, um, perhaps he had some sort of an advisor helping him or the person that actually authored the book. Um, he's not doing well. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know if he is uh, heading into some really difficult times here where there may be some sort of a nervous breakdown. I mean, because there is a lot of grief. A lot, a lot, a lot of um, worry, anxiety, and a lot of confusion. So this could be in regards to some sort of illness or uh, a nervous breakdown. This could be in regards to this person having a nervous breakdown. Um, there's something going on here. There's uh, his hopes, his dreams, um, a, a new direction. It, it's clouded over. He has no success there. Um, there's something going on. If this is literally his book, there's a loss. Um there was some sort of cheating or something that was going on where it was a loss. And we all know that um, it finally came out. It was reported on the news that the only reason that he made it to the bestseller was because the RNC bought it by like the truckloads. And then we're seeing here an end of a friendship or a friendship that of someone that is very ill. It could also be because this is closer to him. It could also be that he is perhaps very, very ill or, um, Something that's got him so worried that um, it causes him like some sort of a nervous breakdown. Um, if this is in regards to the end of a friendship, I don't know who this is. It might be someone that had knowledge 
of something that was kept in the book. So I don't know if this is Michael Cohen um, or who this person is. It could also just be some, the person that wrote the book. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up here. Um, and I think I want to read on Hunter Biden and um, I'll see where that goes and I'll see you guys on my next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.